Hi everyone, I want to do this quick video to talk about this soother. Um, I'm sure this is probably just one of those fluke accident type of things. Um, I'm sniffling because I just freaking bawled my eyes out because I can't believe that this happened to him and it was the saddest thing ever. Um, <clears throat> Weston doesn't usually use these type of soothers. He usually uses, uh, I'm going to show you him right now, these gumdrop ones. If you can see it. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Um, they're kind of like those uh, ones that you get from the hospital that are just all one solid piece. Um, it's not like this. But he has liked these um, in the past and I couldn't find uh, that one at the time. And he was really, he's been really cranky, he's been teething. So I decided to give him this one. Of course, I've had no problems with this ever. Um, and because he's been cranky, anytime that I will put him down into his crib, he usually ends up waking up. Well, of course, this really limits the things that I can do. So, um, like always, I just sometimes leave him in his crib and I put some toys in there and he plays and I bring the monitor to wherever I'm going because sometimes, you know, I want to start dishes or whatever. And you guys know I live in an apartment, very small. And... Like most kids, they're fine, right? You just leave them in there. Once you kind of hear them kind of like fussing a little bit, you go in there, see how they're doing. They see you and they're good. Well, I put him in there. I walked, I think it's a total of 10 steps to my kitchen. Um, I'm making chili. So I took one stir of the chili and I heard him screaming. I come in to his bedroom and he's been, obviously you guys know he's been rolling over a lot and he doesn't know how to roll back. So I figured he was just pissed off because he was on his stomach and he was upset. So, But I still usually always run in there when he starts screaming, obviously, because something to me should be wrong if he's screaming like that. I roll him over, and this is like this in his mouth. Okay? Now, obviously, my mouth is huge. It was like back almost like lodged in his roof of his mouth. So when you have teeth, you can't really see, but like up in there and it was stuck. I had to yank it out. Thank God that, I don't know, he didn't, it didn't get further in there. Um, his mouth is completely fine. He obviously is just having a ball now. He's not crying. I mean, as soon as I picked him up. And I checked out his mouth. Within about a minute, he was he was completely calm, but I was still bawling my eyes out, like bawling. Like most mo mothers would do when you find your baby with the most odd thing that could possibly happen to them. Now, I know, again, this is a fluke, but I'm not using these anymore. I'm throwing this out. I think I have another one. I'm going to throw that one out, too. I am paranoid. Like, you would not believe that this would happen again. Uh, the weird thing was, was last night my friend had, um, was, my friends were here and she ended up getting him to sleep and he had this in his mouth and she put him in, to, in his bed and she goes, do I need to take it out of his mouth? And I go, no, he spits it out and it's fine and I'll go in there like in a few minutes and usually it's out and I'll take it out of the crib. So I do that. I usually always get it out of the crib if he spits it out, but he has been using, here he spit it out, I can show you now. He has been using these ones, and they're one piece. Now, obviously, this can get put in your mouth, too, but you can't, like, l like get it lodged like a piece of plastic, like this. So, I know a lot of people don't use these, but there is people's, but I just want to make this video to say to you guys, and not to bash this brand at all, but be careful. <laughs> this got lodged in Weston's mouth like that, the most freak accident you could possibly think of. Um, thank God he was okay. There was no like bleeding or anything like that. Um, he seems perfectly fine, but I'm no longer going to use these. I mean, I know there's going to be people that are going to say it's totally fine, but I just, I can't even imagine this happening again and me not getting there fast enough. And I don't know, it snaps off. I don't know how these things are even constructed that this is one piece. I'm not really sure, but how scary is that and how like helpless your child is when something like as small as big if you compare it to their mouth 
this got stuck in his mouth. So I just wanted to make this video. Of course, there's nothing against this company that makes these or these style, but I just wanted to pre-warn any of you guys that have these. This is scary that this can get in his mouth because he f rolled onto it. Um, but even if they were playing with it and pushed it in their mouth too hard, this got stuck. So, anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.